Brothers and sisters, we believe in the Lord, hoping that we will be brought into the kingdom of heaven to enjoy the eternal blessing when the Lord comes. Amen. Amen. Now, with the Lord coming soon, we did not expect the sudden emergence of Eastern Lightning, announcing that the Lord Jesus has returned, that is Almighty God, who is doing the judgment work in the last days. <laughs> Isn't it odd and peculiar? It is impossible. These years, Eastern Lightning has been developing particularly fast. Many good sheep of various denominations were stolen, stolen by them. The incredible part is, those stolen people all claim that they have been raptured, that they are supping with the Lord. Now tell me, how is that possible? Oh, how is it possible? Rapture before the rapture real? You Lord? think it was the rapture? Are these for real? If this was real, though, wouldn't it mean that they've welcomed the Lord? Brothers and sisters, we haven't seen the Lord descending on a cloud. Yet Eastern Lightning has witnessed the Lord's return. It's impossible. Yes. Yeah, impossible. impossible. Indeed it is. If the Lord had really returned, why weren't we raptured too? Exactly. That's yes. true. Why weren't we? We've been raptured. I dare say, everyone who has witnessed the Lord's return must be a liar. We absolutely cannot believe them. Right. Don't believe them. Brothers and sisters, our belief means keeping the Lord's name and upholding the Lord's way, watching for the Lord's descension on a cloud to bring us to God's kingdom. Amen. Amen. Don't you all agree? Yes. 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 Brothers and sisters, in order to prevent the followers from being taken by Eastern lightning, we must step up our efforts to defend against them. Amen. Amen. So now, the church has printed some booklets about resisting them. Oh. Worker Wang, could you please pass them out? Okay. For more than a decade, we have been guarding against Eastern Lightning in every way. Yes. Even the CCP government and religious leaders have been resisting Eastern Lightning. Yeah. Why then is the number of people believing in Eastern Lightning increasing? Hmm. Do you think that Eastern Lightning could actually be coming from God? Mm. Mm -hmm. Well, the way I see it, yeah. what is of God always prospers. Yeah. Make sure to read that carefully. I want everyone to read this information about boycotting Eastern Lightning. Improve our defensive efforts. Amen. 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 The people from the United Front are here. What are they doing here? What else but to monitor us? <clears throat> Moreover, the government has implemented strict orders to ban Eastern Lightning. We must fully coordinate with the government in opposing them. Amen. 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 Does everyone understand? Yes. 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 Good. yes. Thank the Lord. Here I will talk about the preventative measures against Eastern Lightning. Lord, is Eastern Lightning your appearance and work? In the past few years, the CCP government and religious circles have condemned Eastern Lightning. I have looked at some propaganda materials against Eastern Lightning and found that their words ring hollow, full of slander. Yes, that's Full true. of slander and blasphemy. Moreover, no factual basis has been given, mm. making it very hard to believe that these incriminating words are true. That is true. That is true. In addition, we who believe in the Lord have all been persecuted by the CCP we all know that they are an atheist revolutionary party, resistant to God. That's right, indeed. indeed. Based on the devilish nature of the CCP, if there were any factual basis, they would set the media loose to hype it up. Besides, even using the law for prosecution and conviction, the CCP would definitely do so. 
Exactly. It's their habitual practice. What is strange is, this is an atheist regime that doesn't believe in God or the Bible. How would they know which religion is truly right or wrong? Yes, indeed. How would they know who is right or wrong? They regard Christianity as if it were a cult. They have labeled the Bible a book of cults. It is commonly acknowledged that they are devils that resist God. Yes. Exactly. Yes, Absolutely. Correct. Therefore, it has been so normal for the CCP to make such remarks, to criticize and condemn our religious beliefs, even making up rumors, lies, twisting facts, and turning black and white on its head. Yeah, yeah. These are just so normal. Yeah, that's true. So I dare to conclude. The CCP's incrimination of Eastern lightning are certainly false rumors and total lies. Right. And the religious community's condemnation against it is entirely propaganda of the CCP's nonsense. Have they studied Almighty God's work in the last days? No. no. Have they read the word of Almighty God? I guess not. From the perspective of the religious propaganda materials, they don't seem to have studied it. It is not difficult to find it questionable if we sit and analyze it. Yes, yes that's, that's true. Analysis, mm. we can see the if we want to see through the mm. facts, we need to study Eastern Lightning. What? Study Eastern Lightning? This is my opinion. Brother Zhang is right. Who among us believers of the Lord have not experienced persecutions by the CCP? No one. They call our faith a cult and claim that Lord Jesus was merely a man. They even label the Bible as a book of cults, declare our home churches unlawful, and also say that our Christian congregation disturbs order. Isn't that a distortion of black and white facts against our belief? That's mm. correct. The CCP is lying. We can't believe their fallacies. Mm. Mm. I think we need to do some more research. CCP That's what words I think. are never trustworthy. The Chinese Communist Party is against God, so we don't have to believe them. But the religious pastors and elders are servants of the Lord and know the Bible. So if they condemn Eastern Lightning, then it cannot be the true way of God. I don't agree with studying Eastern Lightning. Right. The pastors are set up by the Lord. We have to listen and believe what they tell us. The pastors and elders always say, as long as it is not the Lord Jesus that descends on a cloud, it has to be false. Whoever testifies that the Lord is back is lying. Yeah, the pastor God can back. only be the Spirit, not incarnate. Amen. We only recognize the Lord Jesus' name. What Eastern Lightning believes in is a man, and it cannot be the true way. We can't look into Eastern Lightning, otherwise we would be deceived. We should wait for the Lord to come on a cloud and bring us into God's kingdom. This cannot be wrong. Amen. We can't Amen. be afraid to study just because we're frightened of being deceived. Should we study it or not? That's a good point. Coworker Wu, coworker Hu, you both believe in the point of view of most religious leaders and follow them in condemning Eastern Lightning. Have you actually studied Eastern Lightning? Yes. Yeah. That's true. If you haven't studied it, isn't it wrong for you to say so? Yes, yes it is. Mm. Whether Eastern Lightning is the true way or not, I don't know. But the words Eastern Lightning align with the Lord Jesus' prophecy. For as the lightning comes out of the east and shines even to the west, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. They seem to be related. Yeah, oh, that's there is a true. link. In addition, the religious community as a whole recognizes that the Lord is about to come. Some people even feel that the Lord should have already arrived, mm -hmm. right. only that they don't know where the Lord has appeared to do his work. Yes. Yeah. Yes. At present, only Eastern Lightning is witnessing that the Lord has returned mm. and is doing the work of judgment beginning with the house of God. No matter how we look at it, we need to study Eastern Lightning. Don't you all agree with that? We should study it. Yes. Yeah. I think we should study it. Mm -hmm. Despite the repression and the persecution of the Chinese communist government, Eastern Lightning continues witnessing God. Yes. I hear that so many good sheep of various denominations have accepted Eastern Lightning. This is not an ordinary feat. Mm, 
It is yes, not the Lord Mayor. I'm just thinking, since those are good sheep and faithful, they must know more about the Bible. If they could accept Eastern Lightning, this just proves that the real truth could be found in there. Yes, of course. None of them are that foolish. Yes, those that indeed. accepted Eastern Lightning are all faithful believers yes. in the Lord. Then we should wake up. We can't just listen to one-sided opinions. In the case that the pastors and elders are resisting God, aren't we being jeopardized by them? Right. Yes, that it's too dangerous. dangerous. There's nothing wrong with studying Eastern Lightning. But we should consider how strongly the CCP is repressing Eastern Lightning. If we study Eastern Lightning and find out that it really is the true way, should we then follow it or not? We would have to. If we do, we'll end up being arrested for sure. Yeah, that's not worth it at all. If we don't follow it, we'd be cowards afraid of accepting it. I think, studying it or not, we want safety and peace. That's right. The persecution against Eastern Lightning is too dangerous. That's correct. Believing in Eastern Lightning will end up in us being arrested sooner or later. There will be danger. Even if Eastern Lightning is the true way, I, I just can't accept it. Why would you think like that? Yeah. If, if I were arrested, who could support my family? There's no one else. This is understandable. Now that we believe in the Lord, but in a low profile. Maybe we could still go to the heavenly kingdom when the Lord arrives. There's no need to take that risk right now. Indeed, no need at all. I don't agree with that. How could you say exactly. that? Could you know? I don't get it. Why would she say that? Trials and tribulations reveal a person the most. If a person lacks even the courage to study the true way, haven't they believed in God all this time in vain? That's right. Exactly. Uh -huh. When we believe in the Lord, isn't it our greatest wish to meet the Lord's return? Yes. Now that Eastern Lightning is the only church in the world that witnesses his return and posts all the truths expressed by Almighty God on the internet for everyone in every country to pursue and study. It is God knocking on our doors. Amen. 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 God is great. God is if we don't study Eastern Lightning, then are we really waiting for the Lord to appear? We've been persecuted for years by the Chinese Communist Party, but we got through it by relying on the Lord. That's true. Yes, yes, yes. The Lord Jesus said, and fear not them which kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul, but rather fear him which is able to destroy both, both soul and body, and body in hell. hell. Amen. Amen. Everything is in the hands of the Lord. Without the Lord's permission, the CCP can't do anything to us. Amen. 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 We should have faith in the Lord. We can't not study the true way because we're afraid of persecution. If Eastern Lightning is the Lord's appearance and work, but we don't pursue it, aren't we missing a chance to greet the Lord and be raptured? Definitely. Exactly. We have to chase That's after this. Why do we believe in the Lord? Isn't it for eternal life in the kingdom of heaven? Yes. No matter how perilous the road, to the heavenly kingdom is, we must follow it. Amen. The Lord is with us. What do we have to fear? If worse comes to worst, we die martyrs and glorify him. Then we will not have lived in yes. vain. Amen. So true. Don't you all agree? Yes. Yes. Despite the arrest and persecution by the CCP, Eastern Lightning is increasingly prosperous. I think Eastern Lightning is possibly the Lord's appearance and work, the road to the heavenly kingdom. Amen. Even if the road is perilous, we cannot retreat. That's right. We should study more. We should. Thank the it Lord. It just so happens, I know some people from Eastern Lightning. <laughs> is that really? so? Should I invite them over tomorrow? We can listen to their testimonies. Yes, that's great. Nice. Wonderful. That's, nice. that's amazing. Wonderful. Yes. That's so fantastic. Uh, wonderful. That's incredible. Brother Zhang, Brother Zhu, you say that the Lord has returned and appears to work in the flesh. This is the first time I'm hearing about it. I don't recall to have read this passage in the Bible. I believe that the Lord will descend on a cloud 
as it was prophesied in the Bible, you men of Galilee, why stand you gazing up into heaven? The same Jesus which is taken up from you into heaven shall so come in like manner as you have seen him go into heaven. Amen. 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 After the Lord Jesus resurrected, it was his spiritual body that rose to the sky. When he returns, it'll be his spiritual body coming on a cloud. Yes. Right. Quite right. But you say that God appears in the flesh in the last days. Explain this to us. Is there any basis for you to believe in this? Could you please clarify this question for us all? Yes, yes, I would love for you to that. explain it to us. I would like more there is no prophecy in the Bible about the Lord's return in the flesh. I only see it written that the Lord will descend on a cloud before the eyes of the crowd. That's it. Amen. Amen. You say that God has become flesh, the Son of Man, to do judgment in the last days. This is obviously inconsistent with the Bible. Yeah. Besides, our religious leaders say that any testimony about the Lord's coming as incarnate is false. So I think it's impossible for the Lord to return as incarnate. I cannot accept your testimony. I'll just wait for the Lord to descend on a cloud and bring us to the heavenly kingdom. That cannot be wrong. It cannot be wrong. Brother, well, let's just listen to what he has to say. Let's fellowship, let's fellowship about it. You say it is impossible for the Lord to return as flesh. Do you think that is correct? It is explicitly written in the Bible that the Lord will return as incarnate. Do you mean that you couldn't find it, maybe? There are many prophecies about the Lord's return, of which the ones of him returning as incarnate are clear in the Bible. For instance, when the Lord Jesus said, For as the lightning comes out of the east and shines even to the west, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. For as the lightning that lightens out of the one part under heaven shines to the other part under heaven, so shall also the Son of Man be in his day. But first must he suffer many things and be rejected of this generation. Amen. The Lord Jesus prophesied that he would come again as the Son of Man. The Son of Man refers to God incarnate. Right. Just like the Lord Jesus in the flesh, who looks like an ordinary, normal person on the outside, who eats, drinks, sleeps, and walks. But the spiritual body after he resurrected was different. He could penetrate walls, fade in and out. It was supernatural. So he could not be called the Son of Man. About the Son of Man's return, the Lord Jesus said, But first must he suffer many things and be rejected of this generation. But according to what you say, the Lord will return as a spiritual body descending on a cloud and appearing publicly. Everyone will bow and worship. Who would dare to resist him? Yes. Yeah. Yes. The Lord Jesus said, But first must he suffer many things and be rejected of this generation. How would these words be fulfilled? That's right. Only when God incarnate appears to work as the Son of Man, only when they don't recognize him, would they dare reject him according to their notions and imagination. Don't you say that is the case? Yes, it really is the case, yes. In addition, the Lord Jesus also prophesied, But of that day and that hour knows no man, no, not the angels which are in heaven, neither the Son, but the Father. If therefore you shall not watch, I will come on you as a thief, and you shall not know what hour I will come on you. If the Lord descended on a cloud in a spiritual body, then everyone would know and be able to see it. Yet the Lord Jesus prophesied when he shall return, it would be, no, no man, neither the Son, and as a thief. How would these words be fulfilled? If the Lord Jesus were to appear in a spiritual body, how would he not know about it himself? Only when God becomes flesh as the Son of Man in the last days, becomes an ordinary, normal person, will the words that the Son shall not know be fulfilled. Just as the Lord Jesus, before performing his ministry, even he did not know he was Christ, who came to redeem mankind. So the Lord Jesus often prayed to Heavenly Father. Until the Lord Jesus began to fulfill his ministry, he realized his identity. Amen. Is this more practical to understand it this way? Yes, yes, yes. indeed. It's true. Now, would you still say that there is no prophecy in the Bible that the Lord will return in the flesh? Not anymore. No, no, not this anymore. was the prophecy made by the Lord Jesus. 
Doesn't the Son of Man refer to God incarnate? Are you saying that you can't accept that? Wow, I never thought of it that way. Mm -hmm. They have communed the Lord Jesus' prophecy so clearly. Yes, yeah. Looks like the Bible did predict that the Lord would return in the flesh. Mm -hmm. Yes. But we also read these words from the Lord Jesus. Why didn't we see it? Yeah, why didn't we see it? Now that you understand it, isn't the Lord going to return in the flesh? Yeah. Some people also think, if he was going to return in the flesh, then why didn't he just say that directly instead? Why did he have to say the appearance of the Son of Man? Why? This is just how prophecies are. Prophecies are enigmatic. If he had said he would appear in the flesh, it would be plain language and not a prophecy. Oh. When perceptive people ponder carefully the meaning of the Son of Man, they will be enlightened and will realize that the meaning of the Son of Man is incarnation. When we followed the Lord in the past, we didn't get the meaning of this word. It was only when Almighty God revealed the mystery of incarnation that we did. The prophecy of the Bible, the coming of the Son of Man, in reality, means incarnation. Oh, that makes sense. Yes. Since we now know that the Lord's return will happen in flesh, how can we make sure He is the appearance of God in the flesh? Yeah, tell us about it. We need to be able to recognize the voice of God. For someone to be the son of man in the flesh, he would have to express a great deal of truth That's right. and be able to clearly explain the origin and purpose of God's appearance and work, and to do a stage of specific work by expressing the truth. Oh, I see. So that's how it works. Therefore, the incarnate Almighty God of the last days has expressed the truth for the salvation of mankind, and then the judgment beginning with the house of God. Amen. The word expressed by Almighty God is the spoken word of the Holy Spirit to the churches. God speaks through the flesh to knock on the doors of all those who long for His appearance. That's right. Absolutely. Amen. Mm. Yes. That is a good point. Those who perceive the word of Almighty God as the truth and the voice of God are the wise virgins who are brought before God to attend the wedding feast of the Lamb. Amen. Thank the Lord. Where they eat and drink the Holy Spirit's latest words, experience God's work, and verify that it is God's appearance and work in the last days. Yes. So they testify to various sects that the Lord Jesus has returned as the incarnate Almighty God. Amen. And let people come to listen to the voice of God. That is the expression of Almighty God. The Word appears in the flesh. Amen. Amen. The Word appears in the flesh. This is the fulfillment of the Lord Jesus' prophecy. And at midnight there was a cry made, Behold, the bridegroom comes. Go you out to meet him. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come in to him. And, and we'll sup with him, him and, and, and he with, with me. me. Amen. 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 Yes. Those who cannot recognize God's voice, even condemn and pass judgment on God's work in the last days, are the foolish virgins who are revealed and eliminated. Amen. And these people will be weeping and gnashing their teeth in calamity. Would you all agree that this is the case? Yes. yes. When it comes to greeting the Lord, if we only choose to keep watching the sky for Him to descend on a cloud, without choosing to listen to the voice of God and seeking the Holy Spirit's words to the churches, but blindly listen to the pastor's words, categorize all testimonies of the Lord's return as if they were false, Aren't we going against the Bible? Yes. Yeah, we are. Yes. Yes. What does it say in the Bible? The Apostle John stated clearly, For many deceivers are entered into the world, who confess not that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh. This is a deceiver and an antichrist. And every spirit that confesses not that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is not of God. And this is that spirit of antichrist. Yes. Whereof you have heard that it should come, and even now already is it in the world. Are these pastors and elders' denial and condemnation of the incarnation of God consistent with the Bible? Mm. No, they aren't. They claim that all testimonies about the Lord's return as incarnate are false. Don't you think that this is deceptive? Mm -hmm. yes. 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 If we go by the Apostle John's words, aren't these religious leaders who deny the incarnation in reality acting as antichrists? Yes. 
If you all listen to the deceptive nonsense spread by the pastors and elders, will you be able to greet the Lord? No. Can you see the appearance of God? Can you be brought before God like the wise virgins? Not no. yet. How can the appearance and work of God be found at all? Yeah, how, how can, can we find it? Found? I will read two passages of Almighty God's Word. You understand better. That's great. Very good. Really good. Thank the Lord. Almighty God says, He who is God's incarnation shall hold the substance of God, and he who is God's incarnation shall hold the expression of God. Since God becomes flesh, he shall bring forth the work he must do. And since God becomes flesh, he shall express what he is, and shall be able to bring the truth to men, bestow life upon men, and show men the way. Amen. Amen. Flesh that does not contain the substance of God is surely not the incarnate God. Of this there is no doubt. Amen. To investigate whether it is God's incarnate flesh, man must determine this from the disposition he expresses and the words he speaks. Which is to say, whether or not it is God's incarnate flesh and whether or not it is the true way, must be judged from his substance. And so, in determining whether it is the flesh of God incarnate, the key is to pay attention to his substance, his work, his words, his disposition, and many more, rather than external appearance. If man sees only his external appearance and overlooks his substance, then that shows the ignorance and naivety of man. He is absolutely right. Yes. Mm -hmm. Since we are searching for the footprints of God, we must search for God's will, for the words of God, for the utterances of God. For where there are the new words of God, there is the voice of God. And where there are the footsteps of God, there are the deeds of God. Where there is the expression of God, there is the appearance of God. And where there is the appearance of God, there exists the truth, the way, and the life. Amen. Amen. While seeking the footprints of God, you ignored the words that God is the truth, the way, and the life. So when many people receive the truth, they do not believe that they have found the footprints of God, and much less acknowledge the appearance of God. What a serious error that is. The appearance of God cannot be reconciled with the conceptions of man, much less can God appear at the behest of man. God makes his own choices and has his own plans when he does his work. Moreover, he has his own objectives and his own methods. Amen. It is not necessary for him to discuss the work he does with man or to seek the advice of man, much less notify each and every person of his work. This is the disposition of God and, moreover, should be recognized by everyone. If you desire to witness the appearance of God, if you wish to follow the footprints of God, then you must first transcend your own conceptions. You must not demand that God do this or that, much less should you place him within your own confines and limit him to your own conceptions. Instead, you should ask how you should seek the footprints of God, how you should accept the appearance of God, and how you should submit to the new work of God. That is what should be done by man. Amen. Since man is not the truth and is not possessed of the truth, man should seek, accept, and obey. Amen. Amen. Almighty God's word has so practically explained God's appearance and work. Mm -hmm. This is the first time I hear the word of Almighty God. Thank, Thank God. God. Almighty God's word is indeed the truth. My heart is enlightened after listening to it. Thank the Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank the Lord. Oh, this is great. Thinking back on my belief in the Lord, I had completely believed the pastor's words. I was full of assumptions and totally impractical. I am really ashamed of myself, especially regarding greeting the Lord. I only focused on reciting the Bible. I waited for the Lord to descend on a cloud Without paying attention to hearing the Lord's voice, I was convinced by my assumptions 
That God could not become flesh to return. I was so arrogant and ignorant. Fortunately, after listening to your testimonies today, I came to know that God had long been secretly incarnated among mankind to do judgment work beginning with the house of God. Right. <sighs> We've been deceived for such a long time, but we got to examine the work of Almighty God. It's a good thing we haven't missed the opportunity to be raptured. <sighs> Thank God for not forsaking us. Amen. That's so great. Thank God. Who is it? Who could it be? Oh, it's Brother Wang. It's Brother Wang. Why is he here? Brother Wang, Brother Xi. Brother Xian, you're here too. John Sheen, the church has already stressed that receiving these people and reading Almighty God's words are prohibited. How dare you go against the church by privately studying Eastern Lightning and even leading them to listen to its preachings? Do you still listen to us pastors and elders? Yeah, do you? If they're all deceived and led astray, can you bear the responsibility? That's right, Brother Jean. Can you How bear can the responsibility? The fellowship today was pretty good. Pastor Sian, why have you always stopped us from reading the word of Almighty God? You have only talked about biblical knowledge and theological concepts. We have become weak and have fallen into spiritual darkness. The church has been desolate. True. Can't you see that, Pastor Sian? True. Yeah. Do you still want us to be trapped forever? When we heard the word of Almighty God today, it was very enlightening. Mm -hmm. That's right. So why aren't you allowing us to study it? Exactly. That's, That's true. right. God has already appeared and done his work. Why wouldn't you let us hear his voice? What are your reasons for that? Why wouldn't you consider the lives of our brothers and sisters? Yeah, I don't right. let you study Eastern Lightning because I don't want you to be deceived. That's I was right. caring for your lives. Why didn't you all stop and listen to You're me? You're unable to speak about the light at all. And you still expect us to listen. Can you represent the Lord? Do you have the truth? Can you guide us into the kingdom of heaven? The Lord Jesus is whom we believe in, not you pastors and elders. Yeah, we are the sheep yeah, of the Lord, right. not yours, Pastor Sion. Amen. The Lord will be responsible for us. That's right. That's right. Yes, we're all going to be Why do you always restrict our religious freedom? Yeah, why? Do you belong to the CCP? You keep us from looking into the true way. What is your true motive? Yeah, tell us. Pastor Sian, don't waste time with their nonsense. Let's hurry and call the police to arrest Eastern Lightning's people and stop them from deceiving others. Mm -hmm. What do you think you're doing? What is going on? Pastor, even if we cannot communicate, you should not call the police. Seriously? The police were called. Exactly. Why would you do that? You're selling out the Lord and our friends. Turning in brothers who believe in God to Satan's regime is an evil act against God. This is sinful. Yes, it is. What sin? What's against God? I do this in order to protect the flock. These people want to steal my sheep, so the police are on their way hey, right now. Hold it! You can't leave! Hey, can't do hey. Get away. Stop. 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 No, 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 you two keep an eye on Jean Shane. Okay. When you see him, with anybody from Eastern Lightning, call the police immediately. Will do. We'll only make Eastern Lightning stop stealing our believers by arresting them and putting them all in prison. Mm -hmm. Right. Sounds like a plan. I never thought that Pastor Sian and the others would call the police to arrest believers of God. Why haven't we seen that they are these kinds of people before? I know. Why is it that as we study the true way and hear God's voice, they are showing their dark sides to us? Yeah. It makes me think of when the Lord Jesus appeared to work. Didn't the chief priests and scribes of Judaism 
and the Pharisees resist and also condemn the Lord Jesus? They did. Without the Lord Jesus' appearance and work, who could have seen the true nature of the hypocrisy of the chief priests, scribes, and Pharisees? Mm. I feel that the word of Almighty God is a voice of God. The appearance and work of Almighty God has exposed these pastors and elders. Mm -hmm. ah, I've learned a big lesson this time. Mm. You are so correct. If we hadn't studied the true way and heard God's voice, no one could have seen that the pastors are the modern day Pharisees. Why were their dark sides so exposed this time? <sighs> God's appearance and work and God's word are so revealing. These pastors and elders dare to call for the police to arrest the witnesses of God. It was really unexpected. Yes, it was. What happened today made me think of the Lord Jesus' words. There was a certain householder which planted a vineyard and hedged it around about and dig a wine press in it and built a tower and let it out to farmers and went into a far country. And when the time of the fruit drew near, he sent his servants to the farmers that they might receive the fruits of it. And the farmers took his servants and beat one and killed another and stoned another. Again, he sent other servants more than the first, and they did to them likewise. But last of all, he sent to them his son, saying, they will reverence my son. But when the farmers saw the son, they said among themselves, this is the heir. Come, let us kill him, and let us seize on his inheritance. And they caught him, and cast him out of the vineyard, and slew him. When the Lord therefore of the vineyard comes, what will he do to those farmers? They say to him, he will miserably destroy those wicked men, and will let out his vineyard to other farmers, which shall render him the fruits in their seasons. Amen. Amen. These pastors and elders are the evil servants. Had the Lord not returned and exposed their true nature, who could have seen through them and rejected them? God's sheep would have all been controlled in their hands, being starved and trapped to death. When we heard the voice of the Lord, it was the Lord who wrested us away from the hands of the evil servants of religion. That's right. Mm. That is true. I don't know how many times I've read this passage of the Lord's word, and I never understood what it means until today. Mm. The Lord has returned and exposed these evil servants. That's right. Indeed. All these pastors, elders and servants of the Lord, or any who do not recognize God incarnate, are false shepherds and antichrists. Mm. These people are the evil servants in the Lord's prophecy, and we saw them for who they really are today. That's right. Mm -hmm. Thank the Lord. It was really the grace of the Lord for truly not abandoning us. He let us hear the voice of God and receive God's work in the last days. This is the greatest blessing. Thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. Grandpa, ah. Mom, Dad, I'm back. Ah, Ming Ming is back. Look who's back. <laughs> Sit down, get some rest. <laughs> How have your studies been? Has it been difficult? Thank the Lord. Brothers and sisters, state is fine. When they hear there is a congregation, they'll all want to come.
就是为了开辟新时代，当然开展新时代的同时，一切。战工作也得由他自己来结束旧时代，这就是大白撒旦战胜世界的证据。Brothers and sisters, shall we start? Shall Absolutely. We? This hymn is so exciting. One can tell it's the voice of God. That is correct. God is the sower and the reaper. All the sowing and reaping are done by God himself. The fact that we can hear God's voice and welcome the Lord's return is the mercy and grace of God. Yes. Yes. Thank God. We're so blessed. We're so blessed. Yes, thank God. Thank God. Brothers and sisters, we have just listened to the hymn of God's word, God is the beginning and the end. Everyone is happy and excited now, feeling that this is God's voice and expression. Yeah. Amen. 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 This is enough to prove that God's sheep will recognize the voice of God. Amen. 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 Now, everyone can confirm in their heart that the word of Almighty God is God's voice. Almighty God is the returned Lord right. Jesus. Amen. 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 Thanks Thank be to God. God. Some brothers and sisters still may not understand the truth of incarnation, so it's hard for them to stand firmly on the true way. Yes, that is true. Yes. Let's talk more about the truth of incarnation. Yes. Fine. Let's read several passages of the Word of Almighty God first. Almighty God says, The meaning of incarnation is that God appears in the flesh. And he comes to work among man of his creation in the image of a flesh. So, for God to be incarnated, he must first be flesh. Flesh with normal humanity, this, at the very least, must be true. In fact, the implication of God's incarnation is that God lives and works in the flesh. God, in his very essence, becomes flesh, becomes a man. Amen. Amen. The Christ with normal humanity is a flesh in which the spirit is realized, possessing normal humanity, normal sense, and human thought. Being realized means God becoming man, the spirit becoming flesh. To put it plainly, it is when God himself inhabits a flesh with normal humanity and through it expresses his divine work. This is what it means to be realized or incarnated. Amen. Amen. So only this is incarnation. The incarnate God is called Christ. And Christ is the flesh donned by the Spirit of God. 
This flesh is unlike any man that is of the flesh. This difference is because Christ is not of flesh and blood, but is the incarnation of the Spirit. He has both a normal humanity and a complete divinity. His divinity is not possessed by any man. His normal humanity sustains all his normal activities in the flesh, while his divinity carries out the work of God himself. Be it his humanity or divinity, both submit to the will of the Heavenly Father. The substance of Christ is the Spirit, that is, the divinity. Therefore, his substance is that of God himself. This substance will not interrupt his own work. And he could not possibly do anything that destroys his own work nor would he ever utter any words that go against his own will. Amen. Amen. Indeed, it's true. Brother Zhang, allow me to read. Mm, okay. God become flesh is called Christ. And so, the Christ that can give people the truth is called God. There is nothing excessive about this, for he possesses the substance of God and possesses God's disposition and wisdom in his work that are unattainable by man. Amen. Amen. Those who call themselves Christ, yet cannot do the work of God, are frauds. True. Christ is not merely the manifestation of God on earth, but instead the particular flesh assumed by God as he carries out and completes his work among mankind. This flesh is not one that can be replaced by just any man, but one that can adequately bear God's work on earth and express the disposition of God and well represent God and provide man with life. Amen. 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 Well, let's conclude the reading of God's words. Brothers and sisters, as believers of the Lord, Although we know that the Lord Jesus is the incarnation of God, no one can really understand the truth of incarnation. Then Almighty God has come in the last days and unveiled the mystery of the truth of incarnation. Thank, Thank God. God. Thank God. In the five passages of Almighty God's word we just read, Almighty God has clearly explained the truth and mystery of incarnation. Simply put, incarnation is the Spirit of God materialized in the flesh of a person. It is the Spirit of God wearing an ordinary, normal human flesh that appears and works among mankind. Amen. 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 So only this is incarnation. Right. Yes, it is. In the age of grace, God became flesh as the Lord Jesus to do the redemptive work. In the age of kingdom, God is incarnated as Almighty God to do judgment work in the last days. Amen. Amen. On both occasions of God's incarnation, we can see that not only does the incarnate God have normal humanity, he also has complete divinity. Anyone can feel the normal humanity of the incarnate God. It is not supernatural at all. He eats and lives as an ordinary person with normal emotions. Indeed. In the naked eye, man can't see the complete divinity of God in the flesh. Only from the work performed by God and the truth he expresses, the wisdom he reveals, and what he has and is, can it be confirmed. Amen. Judging from the outside, the incarnation of God is a normal, ordinary person. That is not lofty or supernatural at all. Yet the essence of the incarnate God is divinity. So Christ can express the truth Express God's disposition and what God has and is anytime Amen. and anywhere. He can do God's own work. Amen. This is what no one can do, possess, and reach. Amen. 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 So <laughs> I'm learning so much. Christ expresses God's word and carries out God's work within his normal humanity. What people see is a person who works and speaks. Very practical and very real. It is similar to the incarnate Lord Jesus who appeared as an ordinary person externally, 
who actually lived among people. Amen. But the Lord Jesus has expressed many truths and given man the way of repentance. Amen. The Lord Jesus forgave the sins of man and expressed God's loving and merciful disposition. Amen. The Lord Jesus also showed many miracles and marvels, such as calming the wind and sea, feeding 5,000 people with five loaves and two fish, and raising people from the dead. Yeah. Which fully revealed the power and authority of God. In the end, the Lord Jesus completed the redemption work for mankind through his crucifixion. Amen. 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 This makes us see that the words and work of the Lord Jesus are God's own words and work. The Lord Jesus is the incarnate God. Amen. Amen. <laughs> that is amazing. I'm so that is so happy. true. As we talk about this, is everyone understanding more on how to know about the incarnation of God? Yes. Thank, Thank God. God. We understand, we understand now. more now. In order to understand the incarnation of God, we must know how to listen to the voice of God and see God's disposition, wisdom, and omnipotence, what God has and is from Christ's words and work. So we can be certain that this is completely the work and word of the incarnate God. Amen. Amen. Do you all agree? Yes. Yes. yes, that's amazing. Uh, thank God. Thank God. That's thank so God. Great. Thank you. I understand more. Pastor Jean, you coordinated with the government to arrest the members of Eastern Lightning. The head of the United Front Work Department is very pleased with you. Director Who, coordinating with the government and fighting Eastern Lightning is my responsibility. <laughs> Almighty God indeed reveals the mystery and truth of incarnation. Without the word expressed by Almighty God in the last days, we corrupt mankind wouldn't be able to understand the truth of incarnation, regardless of how long we've believed Indeed, in the Lord Jesus. True. No one can comprehend the mystery and truth of incarnation. Yes, yes that's true. That's really true. Yes. yes. On the outside, the incarnate Almighty God is an ordinary person who actually lives among people, not supernatural at all. Yeah. But Almighty God has expressed all the truths for cleansing and saving mankind revealing all the truths and mysteries of God's management plan and carrying out the work of judgment beginning with the house of God in the last days. Amen. 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 Thank, God. Thank the Lord. Thank God. Great. From the word of Almighty God, we understand the purpose of God's management plan, the meaning and purpose of God's salvation work for mankind in three stages. Yeah. The mystery of God's incarnation, the inside story of the Bible, and we also understand how Satan has corrupted mankind, the essence and truth of man's corruption by Satan, as well as how God saves mankind, the significance of God's judgment work in the last days, how God does judgment work for the cleansing and salvation of man, how God determines the outcomes and destinations of various kinds of people according to their types, how the kingdom of Christ is fulfilled on earth, and so on. Amen. God has expressed so many truths. Think about it. Other than God, who could have expressed so much and revealed God's own mystery? Only God. Who can determine the outcomes and destinations of mankind? Who can do the judgment work in the last days for the cleansing and salvation of men? God. Only, Only God. God. Exactly. Only God can do this type of work. Yes. Only the incarnate God can actually work like this to save men. Amen. This is the work performed by God in heaven as incarnate. Amen. Amen. Thank, Thank God. God. It really yes, is it true. Is. The truth of incarnation seems simple enough, but particularly profound. The simple part is, those who believe in the Lord Jesus acknowledge that the Lord Jesus is the incarnate God. The profound part is, of those who believe in the Lord for years, no one can recognize that the Lord Jesus is God's own manifestation. In the last days, God has become flesh and expressed so many truths. Who could know that the Lord Jesus has returned? No. And who could confirm that only Christ is able to deliver the truths for the salvation of mankind, to reveal all the mysteries of God's management plan? No one. Indeed, no one. Someone like that has yet to be found in the religious community. Yes. It's very true. Upon contact, man can clearly see the humanity of Christ. Man can even produce notions anytime, anywhere due to his normal humanity. 
However, many people cannot understand the essence of Christ's divinity. Yes. yes. Therefore, when the Lord Jesus returns in the flesh to do His judgment work, even those who have believed in the Lord for many years could still resist and betray Him. This is a fact. Now that we have read the Word of Almighty God and understood the truth of Incarnation, the more we read the Word of Almighty God and experience His work, the more we can identify that the words expressed by Almighty God are the truth Amen. Right. and are God's disposition and what God has and is. Amen. Amen. Almighty God's expression is sufficient to prove that Almighty God is the advent of the Spirit of Truth. Yes. Almighty God is the manifestation of the only true God. Amen. 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 I'm so happy. Right. Yeah, it's amazing. I think I'm going to study when I get home. Yes, I'll read more of this. Thanks be to God. I wrote a lot. After reading the word of Almighty God and listening to the testimonies of our brothers, our eyes have really been opened. Yes, they have. Almighty God has indeed revealed all the truths and mysteries of incarnation. It wasn't until today did I see judgment work done by Almighty God in the last days has completely fulfilled all the prophecies made by the Lord Jesus in the Bible. Amen. The incarnation of God is indeed a huge mystery. It really oh, yes. is. It is. It is easy for those who love the truth to accept the incarnate God. Those who do not love the truth are most likely to condemn and resist the incarnate God. The only way to know whether He is the incarnate God is if He can express all the truth. Other than Christ, no one else can express the truth. Amen. Amen. Only He who can express the truth and express the voice of God and do the work of God is the incarnate God. This is what I wasn't seeing clearly until today. Thanks be to God. Thank God. It was the word of Almighty God that enlightened me and God graced me. Had I not read his word, I would never have been able to ascertain that Almighty God is the second coming of the Lord Jesus. I would still be deceived and bound by the religious pastors and elders, living in the darkness like a blind person, unable to hear God's voice and see God's appearance. I finally see it clearly now. In waiting for the Lord, we should find a son of man who can express the truth. Amen. Amen. Find a son of man who has endured many hardships and rejection by generations for his trouble in expressing God's voice and doing God's work. That is true. That's right. If we found the son of man, we would be meeting the Lord and we would be brought before the Lord. Amen. 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 Today, I finally found the Son of Man, who is Almighty God. Amen. Amen. I'm sure that Almighty God is the return Lord Jesus, one and the same. Amen. Amen. This is really the grace of God to me. I am beholden to Almighty God. Thank God. Thank God. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. In the past, I didn't understand the truth about incarnation, so I was living within my imagination, assuming that the incarnate God should be magnificent and bearing and imposingly majestic, with a thunderous voice and awe-inspiring appearance that discourage any human attempt to approach him, unbounded by time and space. He is able to appear and vanish at will and walk through walls, just like the spiritual body of Lord Jesus. Only that would be the incarnate God. In retrospect, my imagination was absurd. I only understand what incarnation is after reading the Word of God. Incarnation is the Spirit of God realized in the flesh as an ordinary person to do God's own work. Amen. Amen. Just like the Lord Jesus, He's not lofty or supernatural. He actually lives among the people, expressing the truth by speaking and working in normal humanity to provide for man. In the eyes of the people, he is particularly practical yes, and normal. Practical indeed. No wonder the Pharisees and all of those who didn't love the truth couldn't accept the Lord Jesus. Yeah. Whenever he was mentioned, they would often say, isn't that a carpenter's son? Isn't that a Nazarene? Yeah. So it seems that 
even if those who do not love the truth believed in the name of Lord Jesus, they only believe in the three words, the Lord Jesus. True. And they do not know the Lord Jesus' divine substance. How can those who don't know the Lord Jesus accept God incarnate in the last days? No wonder many religious leaders and all of those who don't love the truth so persistently resist and condemn Almighty God. That's true. That's true. Yes, it is. It is Almighty God who unveiled the truth and mystery of incarnation. If we only listened to the preaching of the pastors and elders, we would never understand what God's incarnation is all about. Exactly. Yes. When we prayed to the Lord Jesus in the past, we used to pray to God the Father at the same time in fear of missing one of them. It was exactly because we didn't know about the incarnation of God. Right. The word of Almighty God is so great, which is so thoroughly explained the truth. It has enlightened my heart. Thank the Thank Lord. God. This is like attending a feast in the kingdom of heaven. Amen. Thank God. Thank the Lord. Amen. This is just so amazing. We'll finally be raptured when we accept the incarnate Almighty God. Amen. Our hopes and dreams have materialized. Amen. Amen. We thank Almighty God. Thank God. Amen. Thank God. Praise thank the Lord. God. It is God's grace. Indeed. That's right. Yes, I think. That was incredible. That's yes. amazing. Yes, indeed. What do you think about that? Did that make sense? Oh no! The police are coming! The police! police. It's the police! The police are here! Get out! Run up! 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 Run you two! Stop! stop you two! Stop! Put it down. Stop! Where'd they go? This way! This way! Sir, which way did they go? This way! After them! Uh -oh. All right. Wow, that was close. The police almost got us. I didn't expect it. We had just accepted Almighty God, and the CCP is after us. Yeah. This road to the kingdom of heaven is perilous. <sighs> The Great Red Dragon is entrenched in the way to the Kingdom of Heaven. The road to the Kingdom of Heaven is predestined to be perilous. It's taking a chance on life. When one desires to enter the Kingdom of Heaven... Look. Brother Zhang! Brother Zhang! Uh, Sister Zhang! Brother Zhang! Brother Yang! Brother Yang. Hurry. Hurry! Are you all right? I am, thank the Lord. Oh, oh thank God. Are you okay? Yes, we're, yeah, okay. we're okay. Thank, thank the, the Lord, Lord for watching over us. Let's rest a bit over there. Fine. Brother, believing in Almighty God will get us arrested sooner or later. The CCP just wants to eradicate the Church of Almighty God. Troops won't be withdrawn until the ban is done. I think... Let's do away with gathering from now on. Let's just secretly believe at home. That's correct. When the CCP collapses, we will continue pursuing. Yes, absolutely. We'll continue believing without gathering, spreading the gospel, or doing our duty. The CCP won't know who to arrest. Exactly. Let's secretly read the word of Almighty God and pray to God at home. Wouldn't it be safer that way? Perhaps the CCP will collapse one day. Then we'll be able to perform our duties and go back to church. Wouldn't that take us to the kingdom of heaven? If we keep congregating and communicating, we are bound to be thrown into prison by the Chinese police. If one refuses to write a statement of penitence or betray God like Judas, he will have to tough it out with his life. How many people can tough it out? From what I see, there aren't many. Yeah, I agree. It's too dangerous. Mm -hmm. After the CCP's pursuit, we're all a bit shaken up and weak. That's unavoidable. But we cannot retreat because we are timid. Right. The Lord Jesus said, For whoever will save his life shall lose it, 
And whoever will lose his life, for my sake shall find it. Amen. Also as predicted in the book of Revelation, but the fearful and unbelieving and the abominable and murderers and fornicators and sorcerers and idolaters and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burns with fire and brimstone, which is a second death. Amen. Entering the kingdom of heaven and receiving eternal life is not as simple. We have to suffer persecution and tribulations. If we want to enter the kingdom of heaven, riding in a sedan chair without paying the price, it will be impossible. It is said in the Bible, we must through much tribulation enter into the kingdom of God. However evil the CCP, the great red dragon is, it cannot jostle our faith in following Christ, much less stop us from following his footsteps. Yes. Does it mean that the treacherous road to the kingdom of heaven will cut off our love with God? No, it won't. The Lord Jesus has returned. If we don't accept the Lord's work in the last days, aren't we betraying the Lord Jesus? Yes. Failing to accept Almighty God is betraying the Lord. If one doesn't understand this, how can he follow the Lord? Brother, you said it well. Well said. Our brothers and sisters are weak. I see that. We must hurry to find a safe place for us to communicate in God's word in order to consolidate their faith. Fine. I will arrange for more people to keep watch and stand guard. Great. Thank the Lord. Why is Brother Zhang still not here? Brother Yang has been gone for a while. They should be here. What could be holding them up? Oh, look. Brother Zhang is here. Hey, oh. is here. All my brothers and sisters are all here. Yeah. So Good Hi. to see you. Great to see you. Brother Zhang, you? Brother Zhu, you were finally here. We've been worried uh, about so you. Blessed. Thank God for watching That's over right. us. Thank, Thank God. God. Brother Zhang, Brother Zhu, let's sit down and talk. Absolutely. Thank God. Thank God. Yes. These days, the religious leaders have been acting like crazy when they see us believe in Almighty God. They are harassing brothers and sisters everywhere, preventing us from studying the true way. Yes. They even warned us that whoever believes in Eastern Lightning will be expelled. They even, they even brought the police to arrest those who believe in God. Aren't they traitorous like Judas? Yes, yes. They, are. they are. They call themselves believers of the Lord? These pastors and elders are capable of any misdeed. I finally saw their true colors. To say that they are the Pharisees is no exaggeration. Yes, yes exactly. exactly. They yes. are the Pharisees. Exactly. Yes. That's right. The pastors and elders stop us from studying the true way because they don't let us accept Almighty God. Exactly. Are they committing these atrocities to protect the flock? <sighs> Protecting the That's flock right. does not call for preventing us from studying the true way. Yes. That's right. Well, if all the sheep are stolen, to whom the pastors are going to preach? Don't you think they would all be out of a job? Exactly. Yes. 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 Brother Zhang, Brother Shu, since we started to study the work of Almighty God in the last days, the religious leaders have been condemning Almighty God more frantically. Yeah. Doing all they could to block us from studying the true way. It's no different from how the Jewish Pharisees resisted and condemned the Lord Jesus all those years ago. Absolutely. Right. Exactly. Yes. That's true. That's right. I have been thinking these last few days, why did God twice appear in the flesh to work? and confront the collective persecution of the religious community and atheist government. In the last days, Almighty God appears and works merely to express the truth by speaking and working for the cleansing and salvation of mankind. Yeah. Why are the religious community and the CCP government so rancorous against Christ that they even mobilize the media loose and armed police forces to condemn, blaspheme, round up, and exterminate Christ? It makes me recall when King Herod heard that the King of Jews, the Lord Jesus, was born. He ordered the slaughtering of all male infants under the age of two in Bethlehem. He would rather execute thousands than spare Christ. Mm, that's right. When God came for the salvation of mankind, why didn't the religious community and government welcome his arrival? Instead, they condemned and blasphemed God's appearance and work. Why did they deplete the resources of the whole country to crucify Christ on the cross? Why is mankind so evil and act so rancorously against God? I cannot see through these matters. Mm -hmm. I hope you can explain it to me. 
Yes, yes please, please really tell us more. Would you please okay. show us the way? This question Brother Zhang has raised really is so Absolutely. important. And only very few in the whole of mankind can understand it thoroughly. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh -huh. Why mankind defies God so wildly has become headline news. Yes. And the historical tragedy of the incarnate Christ being nailed to the cross is being played out again. Is that not a fact? Yes, it really is. The Lord Jesus said, and this is the condemnation, that light is come into the world. And men loved darkness rather than light, because their deeds were evil. For everyone that does evil hates the light, neither comes to the light, lest his deeds should be reproved. If the world hate you, you know that it hated me before it hated you. Amen. This is an evil generation. And in 1 John 5, 19, it says, The whole world lies in wickedness. Amen. Amen. That makes a lot of sense, does it? Yes, it does. We didn't quite understand when we read these words in the Bible previously. Only when we see that both God's incarnations have suffered the united condemnation, hunting and suppression of atheist governments and the world of religion. However, do we understand that these words within the Bible are indeed true? Amen. Amen. Mankind's doings and the attitude they take in their approach to Christ are enough to prove that the entire world is completely under Satan's control and in its power. Yes. yes. Exactly. Yes, of course. Nowadays, most of us can clearly see that most pastors and elders of the world of religion are people who defy, condemn, and deny Christ, and that the world of religion long ago came under the control of these hypocritical Pharisees and Antichrists. Yes, 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 yes. exactly. Therefore, when God incarnate appears and works, the pastors and elders in the world of religion are the first to rise up and condemn and defy him. Amen. Amen. It's inevitable. The CCP government is a satanic regime that most hates the truth and defies God, and it has always been arresting and persecuting Christians. When Christ of the last days came to appear and do his work in China, the CCP government unscrupulously and savagely tried to hunt, round up, and exterminate Christ, causing ripples throughout the entire world. Yes. yes this true. fact completely fulfilled the prophecy of the Lord Jesus. For as the lightning that lightens out of the one part under heaven shines to the other part under heaven, so shall also the Son of Man be in his day. But first must he suffer many things and be rejected of this generation. Amen. 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 Yes. Amen. That's correct. Yes. God has been incarnated twice amongst men to speak and work, to redeem mankind and save mankind, both times suffering the united condemnation, blasphemy, and hunting carried out by religious leaders in the ruling party. This fact is enough to prove that this world is so dark and evil and that mankind has been corrupted. That's correct. Yes. Mankind has been corrupted and degenerated to a stage where they have become sick of the truth and they hate the truth. Amen. Exactly. Becoming of a kind with Satan and becoming Satan's progeny, unable to tolerate the existence of God. The manifestation and work of God incarnate must therefore inevitably suffer persecution and abandonment. Everyone can see this fact clearly, right? Yes. yes. That's true. As to why mankind defies God, Almighty God has revealed this aspect of the truth. It will be clear once we've read the words of Almighty God. Okay. Fantastic. Thank you. Thanks Please be do. Be to God. Yes. Here you Thanks go. Be to God. Almighty God says, Mankind has developed through tens of thousands of years of history to get to where they are today. However, the mankind of my original creation has long ago sunk into degeneracy. They have already ceased to be what I want, and thus humanity, as they appear in my eyes, no longer deserves the name of mankind. They are rather the scum of mankind that Satan has taken captive. The rotten walking corpses that Satan lives in and in which it is clothed. People do not in the least believe in my existence, nor do they welcome my coming. The source of man's opposition and rebelliousness against God is his corruption by Satan. Because he has been corrupted by Satan, man's conscience has grown numb. He is immoral. His thoughts are degenerate, and he has a backward mental outlook. Before he was corrupted by Satan, man naturally followed God and obeyed his words. 
he was naturally of sound sense and conscious and of normal humanity. After being corrupted by Satan, his original sense, conscious, and humanity grew dull and were impaired by Satan. Thus, he has lost his obedience and love toward God. Yes. Yes. Man's sense has become aberrant. His disposition has become the same as that of an animal. And his rebelliousness toward God is ever more frequent and grievous. Yet, man still neither knows nor recognizes this, and merely blindly opposes and rebels. Mankind is none other than my enemy. Mankind is the evil one that opposes and disobeys me. Mankind is none other than the progeny of the evil one accursed by me. Mankind is none other than the descendant of the archangel that betrayed me. Mankind is none other than the heritage of the devil who, spurned by me long ago, has been my reconcilable enemy mm. ever since. Allow me to read some passages. Go ahead. Satan corrupts people through the education and influence of the national governments and the famous and the great. Their lies and nonsense have become man's life and nature. Everyone for himself and the devil take the hindmost is a well-known satanic saying that has been instilled into everyone and become the human life. There are some other words of life philosophy that are also like this. Satan educates people through each nation's fine traditional culture and causes humanity to fall into and be engulfed in an abyss of destruction. And in the end, people are destroyed by God because they serve Satan and resist God. Born into such a filthy land, man has been severely blighted by society. He has been influenced by feudal ethics and he has been taught at institutes of higher learning. The backward thinking, corrupt morality, mean view on life, despicable philosophy, utterly worthless existence, and depraved lifestyle and customs. All of these things have severely intruded upon man's heart and severely undermined and attacked his conscience. As a result, man is ever more distant from God and ever more opposed to Him. Amen. 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 Allow me to read. Go ahead. From when man first had social sciences, the mind of man was occupied by science and knowledge. Then science and knowledge became tools for the ruling of mankind. And there was no longer sufficient room for man to worship God and no more favorable conditions for the worship of God. The position of God sunk ever lower in the heart of man. A world in man's heart with no place for God is dark, empty without hope. And so arose many social scientists, historians, and politicians to express theories of social science, the theory of human evolution, and other theories that contravene the truth that God created mankind. To fill the heart and mind of mankind. And in this way, those who believe that God created everything become ever fewer. And those who believe in the theory of evolution become ever greater in number. More and more people treat records of the work of God and His words during the Old Testament age as myths and legends. In their hearts, people become indifferent to the dignity and greatness of God. To the tenet that God exists and holds dominion over all things, the survival of mankind and the fate of countries and nations are no longer important to them. Man lives in a hollow world 
only concerned with eating, drinking, and the pursuit of pleasure. Amen. 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 Wow. None actively seek out the footsteps or appearance of God, and none wish to exist in the care and keeping of God. Rather, they are willing to rely on the corrosion of Satan and the evil one in order to adapt to this world, and to the rules of life the wicked mankind follows. At this point, the heart and spirit of man are sacrificed to Satan and become its sustenance. Moreover, the human heart and spirit become a place in which Satan can reside and a fitting playground for it. In this way, man unknowingly loses his understanding of the principles of being human and of the worth and purpose of human existence. The laws from God and the covenant between God and man gradually fade away in man's heart, and man no longer seeks or pays heed to God. As time passes, man no longer understands why God created man, nor does he understand the words that come from the mouth of God or realize all that is from God. Man begins to resist the laws and decrees from God. The heart and spirit of man become deadened. God loses the man of his original creation, and man loses the root of his beginning. This is the sorrow of this mankind. Amen. Amen. For thousands of years, this has been the land of filth. It is unbearably dirty, misery abounds. Ghosts roam at every corner, tricking and deceiving, making groundless accusations, being ruthless and vicious, trampling this ghost town and leaving it littered with dead bodies. The stench of decay covers the land and pervades the air, and it is heavily guarded. Who can see the world beyond the skies? The devil tightly trusses all of man's body. It puts out both his eyes and seals his lips firmly shut. The king of devils has rampaged for several thousand years, right up until today, when it still keeps a close watch on the ghost town, as if it were an impenetrable palace of demons. This pack of watchdogs, meanwhile, stare with glaring eyes, deeply fearful that God will catch them unawares and wipe them all out, leaving them without a place of peace and happiness. How could the people of a ghost town such as this have ever seen God? Have they ever enjoyed the dearness and loveliness of God? What appreciation have they of the matters of the human world? Who of them can understand God's eager will? Small wonder, then, that God incarnate remains completely hidden. In a dark society such as this, where the demons are merciless and inhumane, how could the king of devils who kills people in the blink of an eye tolerate the existence of a God who is lovely, kind, and also holy? How could it applaud and cheer the arrival of God? These lackeys, they repay kindness with hate. They have long since disdained God. They abuse God. They are savage in the extreme. They have not the slightest regard for God. They plunder and pillage. They have lost all conscience and have not a trace of kindness. And they tempt the innocent into senselessness. Forefathers of the ancient, beloved leaders, they all oppose God. Their meddling has left all beneath heaven in a state of darkness and chaos. Religious freedom, the legitimate rights and interests of citizens, they are all tricks for covering up sin. Why put up such an impenetrable obstacle to the work of God? Why employ various tricks to deceive God's folk? Where is the true freedom and legitimate rights and interests? Where is the fairness? Where is the comfort? Where is the warmth? Why use deceitful schemes to trick God's people? Why use force to suppress the coming of God? Why not allow God to freely roam upon the earth that he created? Why hound God until he has nowhere to rest his head? Where is the warmth among men? Where is the welcome among people? Why cause such desperate yearning in God? Why make God call out again and again? Why force God to worry for his beloved son? 
Why does this dark society and its sorry guard dogs not allow God to freely come and go among the world which he created? Amen. 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 Wow, yes. Thanks be to God. That was such a good question. Almighty God has spoken extensively on the root and the state of mankind's corruption. Exactly. Right. Right. Reading the words of Almighty God, we understand why there is so much darkness in the world. Why man so strongly resists God and the truth and substance of mankind's corruption by Satan. Does that all make sense to you? Yes, Thanks exactly. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. Yes, it does. The darkness of these times proves how mankind is corrupted at the hands of Satan. Mm. So how many among mankind are there who long for God's appearance and welcome His return? How many are there who love to hear God's word and accept the truth? How many have studied God's work of the last days? None. Right. Most people not only ignore these things, they also listen to the lies of the satanic CCP government and are working together with Satan's forces to resist and condemn Almighty God. These are facts. That's right. right. Yeah. Even though many people believe in God, how many are there who can accept the truth, seek out the truth, and truly submit to God? No one. If we recall the time when Lord Jesus appeared to do His work, all of the Jewish people followed the chief priests, scribes, and Pharisees in their resistance against the Lord Jesus. Right. Since Almighty God of the last days appeared to do His work, most leaders in the religious world deny and condemn Him. They even go so far as sealing off their churches and not allowing believers to study the true way. This is enough to prove that this world, in this era, is dark and evil. That's right. Mankind deny the truth, hate the truth, and choose to stand against God. Yes, I think we, yes. he's really got it right. The root of this evil in the world is Satan's control of mankind. The entire world is under its dominion. Amen. Amen. For several thousand years, Satan has used atheism, the theory of evolution, and materialism, as well as other heresies, to corrupt mankind. This has caused mankind to worship the various lives of devils and false great men who said things like, there is no God or Savior. Man can fight against heaven and earth and conquer nature. One's destiny is in his own hands. Everyone for himself and the devil take the hindmost, brain over brawn. Money makes the world go round. Small minds make no gentlemen. Ruthlessness make real men and so on. Man has been deceived and corrupted by these evil teachings, which has made them arrogant, deceitful, selfish, greedy, and wicked. There is no man who speaks of humanity and morality, no man who speaks of conscience and reason, and no man who can speak of being honest. That's true. In the search for fame and status, men fight each other, men scheme and cheat each other, and even kill one another. For different interests, Nations fight nations in unceasing conflict. Is this not the result of Satan's corruption of mankind? Exactly. Yeah. Yes. That's totally genuine. Yes. These facts show that mankind has been thoroughly corrupted by Satan and that we have become Satan's ilk, its descendants. Mankind has become an evil force against God. Amen. Yes, what he says is true. is true. For this reason, when God twice became flesh to speak and do His work among men, corrupt mankind resisted, condemned, and abandoned God on both occasions, even crucifying Him. These are some of the facts behind why mankind resists God. Is it safe to say we're all clear about this? Yes, yes thank, thank God. God. After that, I think I, I understand a lot that was better. Really clear. Mm -hmm. yes, I think mm -hmm. What you just explained are all facts. This world has become so dark and evil. Yes, indeed. Mm -hmm. The CCP has ruled for over 60 years, persecuting religions during that time, designating Christianity and Catholicism as cults, labeling the Bible as a cultist book to be destroyed, demolishing churches and crosses everywhere, and arresting, detaining, and imprisoning Christians. That's true. Causing countless Christians to be forcefully displaced and become homeless. Yes, indeed. Countless people lost their right to religious beliefs and are even deprived of the right to live. Family members of many Christians were dismissed from public service. Their children barred from studying, 
from being employed or even leaving the country. What does the world come to? Yeah. China has essentially become a prison of hell where religious freedom doesn't exist, where even the right to life is restricted. The CCP doesn't let believers of God live. It would rather have them all hunted and killed. It's true. The CCP is an evil group that detests the truth and hates God. Amen. Amen. Right, that's exactly what it is. You're right. Yeah, I agree. The CCP wants nothing more than to exterminate all who believe in God. Yes. The CCP's persecution of Christians from the country's foundation to the Cultural Revolution needs no reiteration. As we know, even after its reform in 1980, the detention campaigns against Christians have never stopped happening. Right. Yes. Think back to the campaigns in 1983, 1987, 1991, 1996, and 1998, as well as 2002, 2003, 2004, 2008, and 2009 and especially the nationwide public one in 2012, Operation Spring Thunder in 2013, and 100 Days Battle in 2014. All of these nationwide unified roundup and detention campaigns were characterized by surprise attacks and secret arrests, causing mass panic and widespread hysteria, and making life in China like living in a prison. Yes, indeed. Yes. If the CCP is not destroyed, the Chinese people will never know peace and Christians will always be persecuted and endangered. Right. Quickly, search the house. What are you doing? What, what's going on? Where is Zhang Xing? Where is he? Talk. I don't know. No. Grandpa. Say you don't know one more time, old man. Grandpa, are you okay? I'm all right. Why did you beat him up? Do you have a problem with that? I'm good at arresting people too, you little bastard. Where did your father go? Say it or I'll pound your face in. How would I know? He didn't tell me. The hell you don't, boy! Uh, Talk! Where is Sun Zing? Uh, Everyone, isn't the CCP so detestable? Yes, yes. Terrible. 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 The CCP's suppression and attacks against Eastern Lightning shocked and stirred the whole world. Many people, have no understanding of why they resist and oppose God so much. Why? why? It's because the incarnate Almighty God spoke many truths. Amen. The book, The Word Appears in the Flesh, has shaken every religious sect. Many who believe in the Lord have heard Almighty God's utterances and affirm them as the voice of God and His work, and have therefore turned toward Him. Amen. 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 The constantly increasing number of those who follow Almighty God makes the CCP panic. The CCP has arrested countless of those who bear witness to God and confiscated many copies of The Word Appears in the Flesh. They research this book day after day and increasingly realize how powerful it is. It has the ability to conquer all. No matter how the CCP tries to slander, judge, and discredit Almighty God, they dare not make the word appears in the flesh known to the public. They make not the slightest mention of what Almighty God has uttered. Mm -hmm. Why do they deal with the word appears in the flesh by hiding it? They fear the whole world will see that God has appeared and is doing his work in the East, that the Savior of mankind has appeared in the East, and that therein lies the hope of mankind. Amen. Amen. So Why does the CCP fear mankind reading the word appears in the flesh? Yeah, why is that? Because the word appears in the flesh is the voice of God. It is the utterance of the truth. And it is true light that has appeared in the East. Amen. Amen. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. The CCP is a regime of Satan, the most evil and hateful of the truth. Satan fears most that the truth will come into man's world, that mankind will accept the truth, that God will take power as king to rule man's world, and that the kingdom of Christ will appear on earth. Thus, the CCP so wildly pursues and hounds Christ and uses the media networks for propaganda to frame, falsely charge, and discredit the Church of Almighty God. 
They have even mobilized the nation's armed police force to overwhelmingly suppress, arrest, and persecute God's chosen people. Sorry. With nowhere to hide, his chosen people have been forced into exile because of the CCP's persecution. Under the CCP, the Chinese government has stretched out its hand into every country abroad and utilized political, economic, and diplomatic means to pressure some of them to have Christians who have escaped abroad extradited back to China in order to torture and persecute them. Wow, it's despicable. Even more detestable is that the CCP also arrests and persecutes the relatives of Christians who have gone abroad and keeps them hostage to threaten the Church of Almighty God. It forces them to get their passports to go abroad and disrupt the Church of Almighty God in various countries and attempts through diplomatic channels to frame and slander the Church of Almighty God to mislead by rumor and to manipulate public opinion and discredit it. They incite both the governments and people of other countries to reject the Church of Almighty God and to extradite the Church's overseas members. Its evil aim is to succeed in obstructing, restricting, and suppressing the spread of the Church of Almighty God and its gospel work abroad. Yeah, that's ridiculous. The CCP needs Would you not say that the CCP is the devil Satan who hates the truth and hates God? Yes. 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 The CCP is an expert in the cruel abuse of people and the devouring of souls. It is a demon that eats men without spitting Amen. out their bones. Amen. Amen. Boy, he yeah. said it's true. Now I think all of you see why the Chinese government under the CCP so wildly resists and condemns Almighty God, right? Amen. Thanks be to God. Right. This fellowship has helped us understand so a lot. Talking about the CCP's persecution of Christians makes a heartache. During the busy spring farming season, Last year, my son was taken away by the CCP police for believing in God. My husband and I were sick and unable to work on the farm. They took away the main worker in our family. We cried all day. We tried every way we knew. But we couldn't get him out of prison. The CCP sentenced him to three years. This year, we had no choice but to hire help to plant our crops. We're not even sure if there will be a fall harvest. Is our faith to blame for that? Our faith in God is the right path. Why does the CCP persecute us like that? They make life so difficult for us. Uh, the CCP is a human devouring demon that has no concern for human lives. Indeed. Like Brother Zhang and his wife, Sister Lee, just because they bore witness to God's work. The pastors and elders called the police. <sighs> The couple were taken immediately away by the police, leaving behind two small children alone at home, two small children, crying all day without anyone to look after them. The CCP is just in here. How are these children going to survive without their parents? Yeah, sad. Oh, the CCP are such evildoers. I believe the CCP's talks about human rights and religious freedom are just barefaced lies intended to deceive and fool people. Has it ever allowed religious freedom? Does it respect people's rights to life? Isn't it depriving people of the right to life? Yes, yes. that isn't right. What law did Brother Jang and his wife violate by preaching the gospel? They were good people who followed the right path. What cause did they have to send them to prison? Do they have any sense of moral principle of justice? There's no such thing as justice in China. Yes. Just talking about the CCP's evil deeds makes me so angry. It's true. It angers me so much. It makes me mad also. But our congregation today is helping me see things clearer. Why does the CCP so insanely suppress, attack, and persecute the Church of Almighty God? Because it hates the truth and hates God. Yes. 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 These are the roots of Satan's resistance. Amen. That's right. Amen. That's right. In the past, I didn't understand why Christians always faced persecutions and trials. I thought it was the CCP's total lack of understanding. Christians are good people that will neither usurp the power of the CCP nor threaten its reign. Why would the CCP hate us so much and persecute us like that? That's right. 
but upon hearing your words, I now understand the truth behind it. Thanks. Thank people. God. These CCP demons are no simple folk. They have brains and ideas. So they couldn't have acted out impulsively in doing these things. That's right. You're it all stems from their demonic, satanic nature. Amen. Amen. You are so right. Sense. Yes, it does. Believing in the Lord for so many years, we have suffered the CCP's arrested persecutions. Why hadn't we seen the demonic essence of the CCP? We were blind to the intention behind the CCP's insane resistance to God. <sighs> Without understanding the truth, we were really unable to discern anything. Yes, that's right. Yeah. I was undiscerning in the past. I just blindly listened and was deceived by the CCP and refused to seek and study Almighty God's work. I was so blind and ignorant. <laughs> so was I. Finally, I see things clearly. The CCP is the satanic regime that despises the truth and God. No wonder the incarnate God encounters such cruel and insane suppression and persecution when he appears and works in China. That's right. The CCP is a group of demons against God. Oh, right. Indeed. That's right. That the makes CCP so are a bunch of demons. How can they do that? Yes. Everyone, Brother Zhang, the police are on their way here right now. Yes. Brothers and sisters, let's hurry up and leave. That's let's right. go. Everyone needs to pack up and go. Ugh, it's so hard to believe in God in China. I can't wait for the CCP to fall. When it does, we can freely believe in God without fear of persecution. Brother Zhang, Brother Xu, after hearing your fellowship, I understand it now. The CCP is an atheist party, a demonic group that is hostile to mm -hmm. God and the truth. Yes. yes. The demon is the personification of Satan. The reincarnation of Satan and evil spirits is the demon, the sworn enemy of God. That's right. right. That's absolutely right. true. Therefore, yes. because God appears in the flesh and works in China in the last days, the insane suppression and persecution he encounters from the government is inevitable. Yes. But most leaders in the religious community are servants of God who are familiar with the Bible. Not only do they not seek and study Almighty God's work in the last days, they judge, condemn, and frantically resist. That's true. This is ridiculous. It is. It right. sure is. Yeah. It's not surprising the CCP condemns God's work. But why do religious leaders resist and condemn God's work as well? That's a good question. We lack the insight to understand this issue. Brother Zhang, Brother Xu, please explain it to us. Yes, yes please. Yes. I want to know. Brothers, please. Yes, yes. Tell us about that. That's right. It would be normal if only the CCP government convicted, suppressed, and persecuted Eastern Lightning. Because the CCP is an atheist, satanic regime that has always suppressed religious beliefs and arrested and persecuted Christians. Yes. But the majority of pastors in the religious community are teachers of the Bible and servants of God. Right. Their judgment and condemnation of Eastern Lightning exposes the problem. Yes. What problem does what it expose? Problem? I can affirm that when religious community condemns any sect as heretic, it usually isn't wrong. Does everyone agree? Amen. Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, my God. Co-worker Wu, what is your logic in claiming that the work of Almighty God in the last days is not the true way? Going by the majority of religious leaders' resistance to and condemnation of Almighty God. Yeah. Do you have God's word as a basis for your assertion? Do you? Are religious pastors and elders established and used by God? Do they know God? Can they determine how God comes and how God appears and works? Have you sorted these things out? Yet you dare draw the conclusion. We shouldn't be hasty to draw to conclusions. Exactly. You have read the Bible for some years. You should know clearly how the Jewish chief priests, scribes, and Pharisees condemned and resisted the Lord Jesus. Yes. Yeah. You believed in the Lord for many years, so why do you still worship the pastors and elders? Do you believe in the Lord Jesus or in the pastors? Do you listen to the word of the Lord or the words of men? If you really believe in the Lord, why do you worship the pastors and elders? Exactly. Why do you follow and obey men when you believe in the Lord? Yes, why do you? I highly doubt you truly believe in the Lord. That's right. I don't know why I'm something. Exactly. 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 Exactly.
Exactly. Exactly. That's That's right. Right. The question raised by Brother Lin is very critical. Most believers in the Lord do not understand it. God has become flesh twice. Twice he encountered the collective resistance, condemnation, and persecution of the religious community and the world's governments. This proves that the true way has been persecuted since ancient times. Amen. Amen. Many people can't understand this. They particularly feel astonished at the religious leaders' condemnation of God's work. Actually, there's nothing strange about this. Back then, when the Lord Jesus appeared to work, He was first condemned, blasphemed, and arrested by the chief priests, scribes, and Pharisees of Judaism. That's true. Yeah. These facts were clearly written in the Bible. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, that's it was right. written. Those in the chief Bible. priests, scribes, and Pharisees were supposed to teach the Bible and serve God. Why did they condemn, persecute, and hunt the incarnate Lord Jesus? Was their belief in God for no other purpose than to crucify the Lord Jesus when He came? No, I don't think so. No, absolutely not. Then why did they commit such acts against God? Yeah, why did they? Almighty God has revealed the mystery here. Let's read a few passages of Almighty God's Word. Uh, oh, praise yes, the Lord. God. I can't wait. Almighty God says, Do you wish to know the root of why the Pharisees opposed Jesus? Do you wish to know the substance of the Pharisees? They were full of fantasies about the Messiah. What's more, they believed only that the Messiah would come, yet did not seek the truth of life. And so, even today, they still await the Messiah. For they have no knowledge of the way of life and do not know what the way of truth is. How, say you, could such foolish, stubborn and ignorant people gain God's blessing? How could they behold the Messiah? They opposed Jesus because they did not know the direction of the Holy Spirit's work, because they did not know the way of truth spoken by Jesus. And furthermore, because they did not understand the Messiah. And since they had never seen the Messiah and had never been in the company of the Messiah, they made the mistake of paying empty tribute to the name of the Messiah while opposing the substance of the Messiah by any means. These Pharisees in substance were stubborn, arrogant, and did not obey the truth. The principle of their belief in God is, no matter how profound your preaching, no matter how high your authority, you are not Christ unless you are called the Messiah. Are these views not preposterous and ridiculous? Yes. 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 I ask you again, is it not extremely easy for you to commit the mistakes of the early Pharisees, given that you have not the slightest understanding of Jesus? Are you able to discern the way of truth? Can you truly guarantee that you will not oppose Christ? Are you able to follow the work of the Holy Spirit? If you do not know whether you will oppose Christ, then I say that you are already living on the brink of death. Those who did not know the Messiah were all capable of opposing Jesus, of rejecting Jesus, of slandering Him. People who do not understand Jesus are all capable of denying Him and reviling Him. Absolutely. Moreover, they are capable of seeing the return of Jesus as the deceit of Satan. And more people shall condemn Jesus returning to flesh. Does not all of this make you afraid? What you face shall be blasphemy against the Holy Spirit, the ruination of the words of the Holy Spirit to the churches, and the spurning of all that is expressed by Jesus. What can you gain from Jesus if you are so befuddled? How can you understand the work of Jesus when He returns to flesh on a white cloud if you obstinately refuse to realize your errors? I tell you this, 
People who do not accept the truth yet blindly await the arrival of Jesus upon white clouds will surely blaspheme against the Holy Spirit. And they are the race that shall be destroyed. Amen. 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 Can I read next? Go ahead. Those who read the Bible in grand churches recite the Bible every day, yet not one understands the purpose of God's work. Not one is able to know God. Moreover, not one is in accord with the heart of God. They are all worthless, vile men, each standing on high to teach God. Though they brandish the name of God, they willfully oppose him. Though they label themselves believers of God, they are ones who eat the flesh and drink the blood of man. All such men are devils who devour the soul of man, demons who purposefully disturb those who try to step onto the right path and stumbling blocks that impede the path of those who seek God. Though they are of robust flesh, how are their followers to know that they are antichrists who lead man in opposition to God? How are they to know that they are living devils who specially seek souls to devour? That's the case, right? Yes. Look at the leaders of every denomination and sect. They are all arrogant and self-right, and they interpret the Bible out of context and according to their own imagination. They all rely on gifts and erudition to do their work. If they were incapable of preaching anything, would those people follow them? They do, after all, possess some learning and can speak a little of doctrine or know how to win over others and how to use some artifices, through which they have brought people before themselves and have deceived them. Nominally, those people believe in God, but in reality, they follow their leaders. If they encounter those who preach the true way, some of them would say, we have to consult him about our belief in God. See how they require someone's consent to believe in God? Is that not a problem? What have those leaders become then? Have they not become Pharisees, false shepherds, antichrists? and stumbling blocks to people's acceptance of the true way. Right. The reason that man opposes God stems, on one hand, from the corrupt disposition of man, and on the other hand, from ignorance of God, and lack of understanding of the principles of God's work and his will toward man. These two aspects merge into a history of man's resistance to God. Amen. 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 That's the case. The words of Almighty God have clearly spoken about the root cause of the Pharisees, religious pastors and elders' resistance to God. Right. Did everyone hear it clearly? Yes, we did. Yes. 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 Thank God. We did. Which one of you will talk about why religious leaders resist and condemn God? Religious leaders only focus on pursuing biblical knowledge and theological theories, but not in pursuing the truth, so they don't recognize the Lord's return. That's right. The pastors and elders are weary of and hostile to the truth. When they see that the expressions of Almighty God are all the truth, they are filled with hostility, and they begin to judge, condemn, and resist God. Yeah. yeah. What you've said is all correct. When the Pharisees of Judaism listened to the word of the Lord Jesus. They openly acknowledged that the word of the Lord Jesus was authoritative and powerful that originated from God. Why did they still condemn, incarcerate, and crucify the Lord Jesus? Logically, since they discovered that the word of the Lord Jesus was the truth, they should have prayed to God to seek the answer. Is the Lord Jesus the Messiah? God would certainly have enlightened That's them. That's right. But they neither sought nor prayed to God. They directly condemned the Lord Jesus for blasphemy. In particular, they repeatedly asked the Lord Jesus, Are you the Messiah? When the Lord Jesus directly answered them, they refused to believe. Yeah. 
This is enough to show that the Pharisees were too arrogant. They worshiped the Bible too much. They had no regard for Christ expressing the truth. Their logic was that no matter how much truth the Lord Jesus could express, no matter how authoritative and powerful the Lord's word was, as long as he was not named the Messiah, they would condemn and even nail the Lord Jesus on the cross. True. true. That's so, so despicable. Weren't those leaders of Judaism demons who hated the truth? Yes. Yes, yes exactly. That's right. It is. Yes. If the Lord Jesus could not express the truth, would they have such hatred for him? No, no they wouldn't. I don't think so. This had completely exposed the satanic nature of the Pharisees that detested the truth. Amen. 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 This was where the roots of the Pharisees' resistance of the Lord Jesus lie. Amen. Just as how the Lord Jesus exposed the Pharisees. But now you seek to kill me, a man that has told you the truth, which I have heard of God. And if I say the truth, why do you not believe me? He that is of God hears God's words. You therefore hear them not, because you are not of God. Amen. Amen. We see clearly why the Jewish leaders resisted and killed the Lord Jesus. Then why the religious pastors and elders in the last days frantically resist and condemn Almighty God is not hard to understand. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Is everyone clear on this issue now? Yes. yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's really great to learn like yeah. this. Absolutely. Those of us who have experienced the work of God would realize that people who detest the truth inevitably judge, condemn, and resist God. Isn't it true? Yes. 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 It's, true. it's true. The judgment work of Almighty God in the last days is to cleanse the satanic disposition of man. How does God cleanse and save man? It is by expressing the truth to judge and cleanse man. Amen. Those who accept the truth will receive cleansing and salvation. The satanic disposition of those who reject the truth will not be changed. They will still resist and betray God. In the Church of Almighty God, some people who are weary of and hostile to the truth were completely revealed. These unbelievers and antichrists were purged and expelled. As for the religious pastors and elders, why do they deliberately condemn or blaspheme Almighty God? Isn't it because Almighty God expresses many truths and He has conquered and saved a group of people? The work of Almighty God has revealed them, so they hate and condemn God. The satanic nature is completely exposed. Indeed. Why does God detest and curse these exposed antichrists? It is because they compete with God for his chosen people by firmly controlling the sheep of God in their hands and forbidding people to study and receive the true way. They engage in independent kingdom building and become demons that harm and devour the human lives. They are condemned and cursed by God for offending God's disposition. Amen. 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 Do you say this is the case? Yes. 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 Of course. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yes. How could they do that to Eastern Lightning? What is the basis of the pastor's and elder's condemnation of Almighty God? We have to discern this matter. First, they only go by the lack of record of Almighty God's work in the Bible. They only believe that God's Word was all written in the Bible, and God's Word does not exist outside the Bible. So they deny the work of Almighty God. Second, they don't understand how the prophecies of the Bible are fulfilled. Like the Pharisees, they only follow regulation. No matter how profound and authoritative the sermon spoken by the Lord Jesus was, how much the truth he has, as long as the Lord was not called the Messiah, they would condemn and even nail the Lord Jesus to yes. the cross. Yes. Yes. yes, that's right. Third, they do not recognize Christ in the flesh, nor do they admit that God will become flesh. According to Apostle John, they are antichrists. Yes. Fourth, they go by the rumors and lies fabricated by the CCP government to deny the work of Almighty God in the last days. They even take side with the CCP. They can't wait for the CCP to thoroughly ban the Church of Almighty God. Yes, yes that's what they that did. That's exactly, exactly how Pastor Sian joined efforts with this the This makes us think, why didn't the Lord Jesus go to the synagogue when he preached and worked? Why did he look for someone in the wilderness who was after God's heart? Does everyone know why that was? 
If the Lord Jesus had gone to the synagogue, he surely would have been expelled. Yes. Had the Lord Jesus gone there, he'd have been arrested and handed over to those in power by the Jewish leaders. What you said is correct. If we went to the church to bear witness for Almighty God, what would be the outcome? Definitely negative. Mm. I'm sure that they will report us to the police. Mm. And what does that tell us? The people in religion are too pathetic. They believe in the Lord, but don't know the Lord. Yes. They're even capable of selling out and betraying the Lord. These religious leaders are too vicious. Yeah. That's what we didn't expect. Yes. 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 Yeah. Now we all see the true colors of the pastors and elders. Yes. yes. Now I see it clearly. The pastors and elders are people who detest mm -hmm. the truth. That's right. That's right. No wonder. They keep resisting God's work in the last days. The pastors and elders just enjoy talking about biblical knowledge and theological theories to let people worship them. Yeah. They like listening to flattery. They just like people who flatter them. Yes. If it weren't for Almighty God's work revealing the pastors and elders, we still wouldn't be able to distinguish. Yes. yes. Yeah. Yes. yes. <sighs> How would we be able to tell them about the ways religious leaders resist right. Almighty God are identical to how the Pharisees resisted the Lord Jesus. Why didn't we recognize it? We have listened to the preaching of the elders for many years, but we didn't understand the truth at all. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's right. Makes sense. Had it not been for Almighty God to reveal the root causes and true nature of the religious Pharisees, pastors, and elders' resistance to God, we wouldn't have discerned that they are the antichrists and evil servants that detest the truth. Exactly. We would still be deceived and constrained by the religious pastors and elders and remain resistant to God's work. We may even follow them in resisting and condemning Almighty God. It was so dangerous. Absolutely. Indeed. It was very dangerous. It was. It was. Exactly. Thanks to Almighty God who has mercy on us, who rescued us from the control of these pastors and elders, the Antichrists. That's right. We are grateful to God. Amen. Amen. Thanks, Amen. Thanks be to God. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Thank him. Over the years, I have long heard that Eastern Lightning witnessed the return of Lord Jesus. Many good sheep and head sheep of various denominations have accepted Almighty God. But I worship the pastors and elders too much and blindly listen to their nonsense. I didn't study the true way. I was not believing in and following the Lord. I was purely worshiping and following a man. I was unaware that I had been deceived by the Antichrist who almost delivered me to hell. Right. That's right. Yeah. The religious leaders are the modern day Pharisees. Exactly. They are the demons that stop us from entering the kingdom of heaven. Exactly. exactly. That's right. Yeah, they keep us from entering. Yeah, that exactly. Indeed, yes, thank you. Yes. Brother Zhang, Sister Cheng, Zhang Ming has come to look for both of you. Oh. What happened, Zhang Ming? Dad, Mom, the police came to our house to arrest you. They ransacked it. How's grandfather? How about your grandfather? Grandpa's fine. He told me to tell you not to come home. Don't cry. It's okay. Okay. You can't go home from now on. Find somewhere to hide first. Xiaoming, you have already grown up. When dad is not home, you have to believe in God and pursue the truth. Look after your grandpa. Dad, dad. Dad, I will. When you're away, take care of yourself. Mm -hmm. Mom. Dad. I'm going back now. Be careful. Take care of Grandpa. Mm -hmm. Go back home.
Take care. We have seen it clearly now. The CCP government is a demon that resists and condemns God. The religious leaders are the antichrist who hate truth and resist God. Yes. So why does Almighty God not destroy them? If they are destroyed by Almighty God, won't the people in the religious community seek and study the true way and accept Almighty God? Well, we don't quite get this matter. Can you talk with us on the truth of this aspect? Yes. Yeah. Explain it. Yes, Please tell explain us. it to us. God's judgment work in the last days has far-reaching meaning. Yes. God's almightiness and wisdom is unfathomable by man. But we must be clear that God's judgment work begins with making a group of overcomers. God will first conquer, save, make perfect, and gain a group of people who are of one mind with him. This was predestined before the ages. Amen. Amen. It is not a simple matter for God to make a group of overcomers. God needs to maneuver everything in his endeavor to make perfect these people. Amen. The Lord Jesus prophesied that when he returns in the last days, he will suffer a lot of hardships followed by being rejected by this generation. The group of overcomers made by God are those who follow the Lamb every step of the way and also undergo many trials and hardships. These are necessary. How are these hardships generated? On one hand, it is because of our corrupt dispositions that require us to suffer some hardships when we face judgment and chastisement. Yes. On the other hand, many of these hardships are generated by the condemnation, persecution, and judgment of the Chinese communist government and religious community. Mm -hmm. It is through these sufferings that we shall be cleansed and made perfect, and God shall receive witness and glory. Amen. Amen. At the same time, God will use this to reveal those who are afraid to accept the true way and the unbelievers, wicked men and antichrists who are weary of and hostile to the truth and categorize people by their types. Mm -hmm. Thank God. This will manifest God's wisdom and omnipotence and reveal God's wonderful accomplishment. Amen. 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 Thank God. Let us read a few more passages of Almighty God's word and see how God has spoken. Thank God. Thank God. It's amazing. Almighty God says, in the nation of the great red dragon, I have carried out a stage of work unfathomable to human beings, causing them to sway in the wind, after which many quietly drift away with the blowing of the wind. Truly, this is the threshing floor I am about to clear. It is what I yearn for, and it is also my plan. For many wicked ones have crept in while I am at work. But I am in no hurry to drive them away. Rather, I shall disperse them when the time is right. Only after that shall I be the fountain of life, allowing those who truly love me to receive from me the fruit of the fig tree and the fragrance of the lily. Amen. Amen. In the land where Satan sojourns, the land of dust, there remains no pure gold, only sand. And so, meeting with these circumstances, I do such a stage of work. You should know that what I gain is pure, refined gold, not sand. How can the wicked remain in my house? How can I allow foxes to be parasites in my paradise? Uh -huh. That's right. I employ every conceivable method to drive these things away. Before my will is revealed, no one is aware of what I am about to do. Taking this opportunity, I drive away those wicked ones, and they are forced to leave my presence. This is what I do to the wicked, but there will still be a day for them to do service for me. The desire of men for blessings is much too strong 
Therefore, I turn my body around and show my glorious countenance to the Gentile nations, so that men may all live in a world of their own and judge themselves. While I go on saying the words that I should say, and supplying men with what they need. When men come to their senses, I will have long since spread my work. I shall then express my will to men and begin the second part of my work upon men, letting all men follow me closely so as to coordinate with my work and letting men do everything in their ability to carry out with me the work that I must do. Amen. 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 Thanks, be to God. Thanks be to God. God's wisdom is most Praise profound. be to God. Yeah. In my plan, Satan has ever snapped at the heels of every step, and as a foil of my wisdom, has always tried to find ways and means to disrupt my original plan. But could I succumb to its deceitful schemes? All in heaven and on earth serves me. Could the deceitful schemes of Satan be any different? This is precisely the intersection of my wisdom. It is precisely that which is wondrous about my deeds. And it is the principle by which my entire management plan is carried out. Amen. 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 During the time of the building of the kingdom, Still, I do not avoid the deceitful schemes of Satan, but continue to do the work I must do. Among all things in the universe, I have chosen the deeds of Satan as my foil. Is this not my wisdom? Is this not precisely that which is wondrous about my work? Amen. Amen. When I formally begin my work, all people move as I move such that people throughout the universe occupy themselves in step with me. There is jubilation across the universe, and man is spurred onward by me. In consequence, the great red dragon itself is whipped into a state of frenzy and bewilderment by me and serves my work. And despite being unwilling, is unable to follow its own desires, leaving it no choice but to submit to my control in all of my plans. The great red dragon is my foil, my enemy, and also my servant. As such, I have never relaxed my requirements of it. Therefore, the final stage of the work of my incarnation is completed in its household. In this way, the great red dragon is more able to do service for me properly, through which I will conquer it and complete my plan. Amen. 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 Please allow me to read. Sure. Almighty God says, God intends to use a portion of evil spirits' work to perfect a portion of man so that these people can completely see through demons' deeds and allow everyone to truly understand their ancestors. Only then can humans completely break free, not only forsaking the posterity of the demons, but even more so their ancestors. This is the original intent of God completely defeating the great red dragon. To make it so that all of man knows the great red dragon's true form, completely tearing off its mask and seeing what its true form is. This is what God wants to achieve, and it is his final goal on earth for which he has done so much work. He aims to accomplish this in all of man. This is known as the maneuver of all things for God's purpose. Amen. 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 Thanks, Thanks be to be God. Thanks be Thanks to God. God. Thanks be to God. Yes. Amen. When the people have all been made complete, and all the nations of earth become Christ's kingdom, then will be the time when the seven thunders peal. The current day is a stride forth in the direction of that stage. The charge has been unleashed on the coming time. This is God's plan. 
in the near future, it will be realized. Amen. Amen. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. However, God has already accomplished all which he has said. Thus, it is clear that the nations of earth are but castles in the sand trembling as high tide nears. The last day is imminent, and the great red dragon will topple under God's word. Amen. 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 Thank God. Thank God. To ensure that God's plan is carried out successfully, the angels of heaven have descended upon earth, doing their utmost to satisfy God. The incarnate God himself has deployed to the fields of battle to wage war on the enemy. Amen. Wherever the incarnation appears, so the enemy is destroyed from that place. China is the first to be annihilated, to be laid to waste by the hand of God. Amen. Amen. God gives absolutely no quarter to China. Amen. 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 Thanks, be to God. Thanks be to God. Perhaps you all remember these words. For our light affliction, which is but for a moment, works for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. Amen. Amen. In the past, you have all heard this saying, yet none understood the true meaning of the words. Today, you know well the real significance they hold. These words are what God will accomplish in the last days, and they will be accomplished upon those cruelly afflicted by the great red dragon in the land where it lies. Yes. The great red dragon persecutes God and is the enemy of God. So in this land, those who believe in God are subjected to humiliation and persecution. That is why these words will become reality in you group of people. Amen. 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 Thanks be to God. As the work is carried out in a land that opposes God, all of his work is met with inordinate hindrance, and many of his words cannot be accomplished in good time. Hence, people are refined because of the words of God. This too is an element of suffering. It is greatly arduous for God to carry out his work in the land of the great red dragon, but it is through such difficulty that God does a stage of his work to make manifest his wisdom and wondrous deeds. God takes this opportunity to make this group of people complete. Amen. Amen. Thank Thank you, God. Because of people's suffering, their caliber, and all the satanic disposition of people in this unclean land, God does his work of purification and conquest so that from this he may gain glory and gain those who stand witness to his deeds. This is the full significance of all the sacrifices that God has made for this group of people. Amen. Amen. That is to say, God does the work of conquest just through those who oppose him. Therefore, only doing so can manifest the great power of God. In other words, only those in the unclean land are worthy to inherit the glory of God. And only this can give prominence to the great power of God. Amen. Amen. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Thanks, Thanks be to be. God. Yes, Praise be to God. Yes. Thank God. The words of Almighty God have spoken of these things. So wise. Yes, God is so wise and omnipotent. And yes, Amen. indeed. God said, when the catastrophe comes, China is the first to be destroyed. Absolutely. Isn't that exhilarating? Yes. yes. Fantastic. Thank God. Now it seems the great red dragon is like a rabbit's tail. It can't last long. Now everyone understands that it is not easy for God to make perfect a group of people, right? Absolutely. There are some mysteries within that we cannot understand without experiencing God's work. God is deploying everything in his command to serve his management plan. That is the omnipotence and wisdom of God. Amen. Without experiencing the work of God, we cannot realize it. Yes. No matter how perilous the path to the heavenly kingdom is, we must follow God. Amen. Amen. These words are written in the book of Revelation, and they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. And they loved not their lives to the death. Amen. 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 These are they which follow the Lamb wherever he goes. These were redeemed from among men, being the first fruits to God and to the Lamb. Amen. Amen. And in their mouth was found no guile, for they are without fault before the throne of God. Amen. Amen. Now I understand that these words refer to the perfection of those who follow Almighty God and turn out to be overcomers. Yes. 
No matter how treacherous the road to the kingdom of heaven is, we must follow Christ to the end. Amen. Amen. Until the day that China is destroyed by God, we will have completely understood God's righteous disposition yes. and completely Amen. known about God's almightiness and wisdom. Amen. Amen. These truths expressed by Almighty God will be fulfilled one by one. Just as the Lord Jesus said in the Bible, heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall not pass away. Amen. All the glory be to Almighty God. Amen. Oh